I'm going to uh, show you how to create, put a texture on an object and warp it for for the purposes in this case of uh, putting a grip, a textured grip on this flashlight. As you can see over here, it looks like I, I have a flashlight. It looks like the grip is textured, and that is actually due to this layer here. If I turn it off, you can see that um, that's a just a simple gradient on there, and I've actually shaped a texture up and uh, changed this blend mode and opacity and put it on there. So I'll go over quickly how you do that. So let's turn off this layer. And to begin with, um, I do have two, two windows of the same object here. This one's in outline, obviously, and this one is not. This one's in preview. So I begin by making a copy of the layer where I have the gradient, which is named grip in this case. So I'll just create a duplicate of that. And you can see it here. This is now sitting on top of the other one. So this one's called Grip Copy. So I'm going to select the Grip Copy. I'll unlock this so I can select it. And I'll, I'll uh, work over here in, in this window. We'll see it update over in, in this one. And unlock that and select it. And I'm going to put a pattern in there. So I'm just going to go over to my swatches and select a pattern. And now it fills with that pattern. I am now going to um, put put a mesh on it that using an envelope. So first of all, uh, to make this easier to do, I'm going to rotate this around because my mesh is going to, um, by default, be horizontal and vertical. So I'm just going to rotate this around temporarily. And I'm going to go to Object, to Envelope Distort. First go to Envelope Options and make sure that this checkbox down here where it says Distort fill, uh, distort Pattern Fills is selected. Make sure that is on um, to begin with and click OK. And then you can go to Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Mesh. I'm going to use a 2x2 mesh to get to get started out with that makes things simpler in the long run. So I'm going to click OK to that. And now I have a 2x2 mesh here. And before I shape it, I'm going to actually go ahead and put this in, in outline uh, mode so that it'll be easier to, to see what I'm doing with my mesh. And so uh, to do that, I'm just going to command click. That'd be control clicking on a PC here where it says grip copy and change that to uh, so that I can see what I'm doing a bit better here. And I'm going to reshape this, this, uh, this mesh. This is my direct selection tool. You can also use the mesh tool to do, to do this. Uh, but I'm just beginning, I'm going to uh, reshape this to make the pattern look like it's, it's uh, curved. Make, make it look like it wraps around this tubular area here. So I'm going to add one there. I'm going to get the mesh tool and I'm going to add a couple more. So you can manip manipulate the handles with either the um, direct selection tool or the mesh tool. I usually do use the uh, direct selection tool because that way if I misclick I don't add another row or column accidentally. Because if you're using the mesh tool and you click on a row you create a new column and if you click on a column you create a new row. Like here if I click it creates a, a new column since I clicked on a row and I'll manipulate these handles to make this look a little bit more arced here. And you can see it updating in the in the other window here. It's looking more more curved over here now. So that's the first step is to go ahead and and do that. Once it's done, you can swing it back around into place. So I'm gonna uh, get the rotate tool here. Let's spin whoops. And let's move this. Well, darn, that's really nice, isn't it? It helps if you make sure you have the whole object selected before you actually do the rotation. It's always a good thing. Let's rotate this back around and and put it uh, back and nudge it back into place. I'm using the left and uh right and up and down arrow keys to nudge this around. Okay, so now it's in place. 
Um, over here, I'm gonna I'm gonna click in this view and I'm gonna do Command H just just to hide my to hide my view of my grid and everything. And it's in place, but but it's opaque at this point, and so we don't want to leave it opaque. So I'm gonna go over here to my uh, transparency palette, and I'm going to uh, change the blend mode first of all. If I change it to overlay, uh, you can see that it makes it uh, so that you can see through it. And if you like, you can also come over and change your opacity if you want to uh, make that a little more translucent. And that's it.